Hello and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Transformers Rescue Bot review for you today. This is two more of the tiny little Dinobots. This is Chase the Rescue Dinobot. He is a Stegosaurus. And Boulder the Rescue Dinobot. He is a Triceratops. So these are very much like the Heat Wave and Blades I reviewed earlier where they were a Brontosaurus and a Pterodon, Pterodactyl. As you can see, they are here on the back. These are the two I already reviewed. This is Chase. Here's Boulder. Boulder was kind of a bulldozer before. Now he is a Triceratops. And Chase, I believe, was a police car. And now he is a Stegosaurus. Very cool. I was very excited to find these. I found them at Target. They were $3.99, same as I paid for the other two. Let's go ahead and get these guys off the card and take a look. Okay, so up first we have Chase, the rescue Dinobot. I think he looks pretty cool. I really like the coloring on him. I like the dark blue with the light blue accents and the silver back here on the tail. He has a little dino feature where if you press down on his tail, or I'm sorry, if you press down on his spikes. Sorry, I'm trying to get out of the way here. If you press down on the spikes, it makes his tail go up and down. But I think there's some nice paint. I mean, the silver along the back here is nicely done. Uh, the dino face. The eyes are painted yellow, which is nice. I like the light blue up on top of here. And the silver on top of his head. Now, it's going to be really hard to see, but there is an Autobot symbol molded in that. It's actually white, not silver. My mistake. All under here is a solid blue, but that's okay because it's the underneath. Uh, to transform him... You're literally just going to push the dinosaur's head down, and that will make this whole other section slide down. And then you just kind of pull his head a little forward, and these front legs become his arms. I really like the little head sculpt on him. It's pretty much Chase's head sculpt with the big kind of uh, cop aviator glasses and the badge on his forehead. I think that's very cool. I'll show the transformation one more time. You just lift the head up and everything will slide forward. And then you can just kind of position the arms again. Very cool. All right, up next we have Boulder. He was a bulldozer, but he's now a Triceratops. I think this has some nice paint, the blue up top of here as well. I really like the silver on the horns, and I like the kind of caution tape that goes around the crest up here. He also has yellow eyes, which are nicely painted. His little dino feature, if you press on the back of his tail here. Oops, sorry, hold on. I'm trying to focus, there we go. If you press on his tail, it makes his head buck forward. Which I think is a cool little feature. To transform him, you're going to kind of rock, uh, grab the legs here and just kind of rock this whole section back. Now it's a little tight because it does snap into place. I'll show you that a little bit closer. When you have it in this mode, you can hear it snap into place, so you just kind of have to get it to unsnap. But once it unsnaps, you just rotate these back and this whole section will go. And then it'll snap into place on this uh, in this mode as well. And then you just, again, position the front hands. I do appreciate that it snaps in place in both modes, so it's not very floppy. I appreciate that. He's got a big blue Autobot symbol on his chest. And again, his head sculpt uh, very closely resembles the original Bulldozer Toys head sculpt, which I like a lot. In this mode, it is a lot of green. There's not really, as, all the detailing is kind of in the dino mode. But I think the dino mode is the cooler out of the two modes. Whoop, focus. There we go. So to transform it back, you're literally just going to push this section back forward. And then it will snap into place and then straighten out the front legs. The front legs do kind of have like a tank tread there on the back molded in. I think that's pretty cool. So I think he's pretty great. 
Wanted to give you a little bit of a Dinobot group shot here. Now we have a Stegosaurus, a Triceratops, a Brontosaurus, or a Allosaurus, I'm not sure, and a Pterodactyl. So we're missing a T-Rex, but I think that's going to be Optimus Prime. So I think these guys are a lot of fun. Uh, the robot modes aren't the best, but the little dino modes are really pretty great. I still think Blades is my favorite as far as a robot mode goes. But at the end of the day, they're a lot of fun. They're very inexpensive. They're only about $3.99 a piece. So if you're just looking for something fun to kind of pick up, have on your desk, and fiddle with every once in a while, or if you have small children, these would be great. Um, they're a lot of fun, and they're relatively inexpensive. So I definitely recommend them. But please let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please like and share this video. Please make sure you're subscribed. There'll be links in the description for my Facebook and Twitter. Please follow me on there as well. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Transformer Rescue Bot Dinobots of Chase and Boulder. And thanks for watching.